OCO, Candace Bird Dawado. Hello, my name is Candace Bird and I am a Cherokee storyteller. And I'm coming to you today at the Cherokee National History Museum. And I'm here to tell you the story of how the rabbit stole the otter's fur coat. They said that Sawiawa, a long time ago, there was a gathering of animals who came together to decide who had the best and most beautiful fur coat of all. All the animals had different colored coats. Some of them were multicolored. Some of them were yellow or brown. Some of them had rings that covered them from head all the way down to the tips of their tails. But it was rumored amongst the animals that out of all of them, the one that had the most beautiful fur coat of all was the otter. Well, when the rabbit heard this, he began to get jealous, and he wanted to see if that was indeed true, if the otter had the most beautiful fur coat of all. And so he began to ask around, where does the otter live? And nobody could really tell him, but they could point in a general direction of where the otter lived, because no one had seen him in such a long time, because he was a very shy and quiet animal. And so he set out to find the otter in the otter's home, and it took him four days to get to the otter's house. When he got to the otter, otter's house, he knocked on the door, and the otter answered. And the otter was very surprised that the rabbit had come to see him. And so he said, De usti ganali, what's up, friend? What are you doing here? And the rabbit said, Oh, otter, I've come to escort you to a council of animals who are going to admire you and honor you for your beautiful fur coat, because it is said that you have the most beautiful fur coat of all. Well, the otter was very pleased, and he put his paws up to his face because he was very bashful, but he was very pleased at this. And then the rabbit said, Now it will take us four days to get us to this council, but as long as you're with me, you and your fur coat will be perfectly safe. And the otter was very pleased with this because he had never traveled with a friend before. And so together they set off towards the council of animals. Now the first night that the rabbit and the otter decided to make camp, the rabbit got a piece of wood and he whittled it down to the size of a paddle. And he put the paddle beneath his head and he went to sleep. And the otter was very curious that the rabbit was doing this. And the next night when the rabbit did it again, he took that paddle and he put it beneath his head before he went to sleep. The otter finally was curious enough to ask him, Rabbit, why are you doing that? Why do you put that paddle beneath your head? And the rabbit said, Oh, otter, this paddle that I've made, it gives me good dreams and I sleep so well when I sleep with a paddle beneath my head. And the otter was satisfied with this answer. And so the two friends continued along their way to the council. The third night, the rabbit took his knife and he cut a trail and a pathway down to the waterways. And he told the otter that this was a very special place because the otter asked him, why are you doing that? Why are you cutting that trail down to the waterway? And the rabbit said, the place we are right now is a very strange place. It's called Elohi Atzilagaska. This is the place where it rains fire and the sky looks like it might do that tonight. But have no fear and do not worry. As long as you put your fur coat over this limb and if it begins to rain fire, I will wake you up and I will cry out fire, fire. You can run down that way that I've cut, that trail that I've cut, and you can jump in the water and you'll be safe and sound in the water. Well, that made the otter very nervous and it took him a long time to get to sleep. But the rabbit put that paddle beneath his head and he watched that otter try to go to sleep. And when, the, when he was satisfied that the otter was sound asleep, he took that paddle, crept on over to the fire, put embers on the paddle and threw them up in the air. And he woke the otter up crying out, otter, otter, there's a fire, fire. And the otter jumped up, ran down to the trail, and jumped into the water. And that is where the otter has lived ever since. And the rabbit rubbed his paws together and he said, he, 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 now I've got the otter's fur coat. So he took the otter's fur coat and wrapped himself up with it and decided that it was a very warm fur coat. And he continued his way along to the council. Well, when he arrived at the council, he put his paws up in front of his face so no one could see that he was the rabbit. And the animals were very pleased to see the otter because they hadn't seen him in a long time, but they wondered that he was so bashful and so shy. Well, this made the bear very suspicious and he took his big giant paw and pushed the rabbit's paw away from his face. And there was the rabbit's face revealed for all the other animals to see wearing the otter's fur coat. Well, the other animals began to get very angry at the rabbit, and so they pulled that fur coat off of him, and one of them tried to grab him by his tail, but the rabbit was too quick for them all, and he ran away from the council.
And that is how the rabbit stole the otter's fur coat. What oh, and thank you for tuning in to today's story. I hope we learned today from the rabbit that you don't have to steal something from somebody else in order to have something special. Each and every one of you have something special on your own. Wado, and thank you for listening to today's story. If you enjoyed this Cherokee story and you want to hear more stories, click this link.